rocket fuel, and then we missed it, and we died before we hit the, the water. Hey guys, what is up? We're using the hover. You remember the hover? The weird robot that hovers in the air and doesn't do anything? We're going to use it. Three nitro units and a jump unit. I figured if I can get enough speed and I use a jump unit, do we just fly across the map? All right, here we are on Canyon map. This might be the perfect map, honestly, for the hover because there's so much space. So we have three nitro units. So look, if we're running and then what if we hit our jump? That's what I'm talking about. That's actually not bad. The biggest problem with the hover is that you just kind of sit straight up in the air and you have to hold, especially if you're on a mobile device, if you hold the hover ability, you can't fire with the same thumb. Like, cause you know, your thumb's already on the hover ability. Boom, okay, hold on. Can we grab this beacon? So it's kind of practically a bad setup. Uh-oh. But man, this jump unit's really allowing us to hover literally further across the map. If I'm not mistaken, the hover was all, it also came out before any of the other flying robots. So when this thing came out, this was like, everyone was like, oh, this is a flying robot. Until we got actual flying robots, but it was a big deal for like 10 minutes, the hover. And then everyone was like, oh, this thing kind of sucks. And it really isn't that great at anything but going straight up in the air. Jeez, okay. Okay, we're going to push this. This is a risky move. We got to get our home beacon back, though. We're pushing, we're pushing. Hopefully, no one's going to drop in here. If we can grab this beacon. Usually, when an enemy team gets your home beacon this early on in the game, it's not a good sign. Uh oh. Okay, we're going to back up now. I mean, the one useful part about the jump unit and the uh, hover ability, kill, there we go, is um, it's a lot harder for enemies. Like these weapons, like the Bane and Toxin here, it's going to be very difficult to hit us while we're in the air just because of how the mechanics are. So we're going to back up here. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Is an Oroshi? Yikes, what does he have? Okay, so he is Ember. His lock on weapons hitting us, but look, the ember are missing us pretty much completely. Boom, double kill. We just outplayed Naroshi with a jumping hover. Swag. Sick. Alright, we're kind of sitting back here. Our nitro speed is gone. But I'm kind of surprised we're even still alive right now. Is my team mecking out? Why do we have th three players? Okay, four players. Still, we're missing two. Okay, this Ravana, I think we can take him because he is just Punishers. Okay, we're going to back up. Makes it The further away you are from the Punishers, the, the harder it is to hit. Boom, triple kill. We're on a kill streak right now. We are on a kill streak. 160,000 HP. Even without a Nitro Speed. Because the enemy team is three beacons, our speed's pretty decent. Oh god, my teammate is in a Leo and there's a Muromitz about to absolutely slap him in the face. Actually, he's still alive somehow. He's actually still alive. Okay, we're gonna try to grab the enemy home beacon across the map. So jump unit, and then keep the jump going with the hover. Fly! Fly! You can do it! Okay, if we can slow down with these weapons, freeze, slow down, slow down. No! Oh no! Ah, uh, I thought I thought there was a chance we could grab that beacon, but that didn't work. Okay, we're gonna drop drop right in because enemy team is still. How is the beacon bar still so even? It feels like the enemy team's had three beacons for like four minutes. Okay, let's kill this Miramitz with our Ares. Oh, what? Someone stole that kill from us. That was BS. Okay, 
Which? Okay, um... I don't want to be that guy, but this guy on my team, Lozo, or this player, was running a Leo and now has a Kid Titan. I feel like they might be a bit lower level. Just saying. Uh-oh. Scorpion! No! Uh! Killing... Okay, the phase shift kept us alive, but we have two weapons left. Oh, now we dead. Someone killed us with Ballista. That's a bit weird. Those haven't seen Ballista in forever. Jeez, kid, we really have to push beacons here. Okay, I don't want to kill that Miramid because he'll drop in on us in the beacon. So I'm just going to wait just enough. Now we can kill him. Okay, and now I think we can grab this beacon. Oh! Oh my gosh, how did he drop in that fast? Or was it a different player? I don't know. That was ridiculous. I thought we for sure were going to capture that beacon. Oh, that screwed us over so bad. Okay, there's a kill with a blitz. Not going to hit my ability. Not going to hit my ability. We're gonna hang in there. We have the legendary pilot on the blitz here too. All right, we have. Even though our beacon bars are pretty close, this just isn't looking too good just because of how many players the enemy team has and how we only have three, including myself. Ah, oh, jeez, we're gonna die here probably. Look at all these stupid shields. Dumb shields, dumb shields, dumb shields. Hate the shields. Shields are the worst thing since... I don't know. Crackers. <laughs> okay. This game's gonna be tough to win, but... Jeez, we're... Absolutely torched that mirror mitts. Okay, then we just absolutely killed that kid titan. Okay, let's neutralize that Arthur for a second. And now let's get close, and then we're going to hit our increased damage. Holy, we just took out three titans in like 30 seconds. I think... Ah, man, I feel like this game is pretty much going to be impossible for us to win right now. We would need four or five beacons, and... Rampage, I'm absolutely cleaning up the map, but ran out of time. I think we were down a player there. That was kind of annoying. That was a little bit annoying. 4.6 million damage, 5 beacons, but yeah, see, our team was down a player. Man, if we had that one more player, I think that would have made a big difference. All right, but yeah, I played a bunch of games with this hover, and it was pretty impossible to use most of the time. Well, you know, running three Nitro units didn't help because usually you'd run like a, a phase shift instead of a jump unit in a last stand or something, so you'd have a little bit more leeway. Um, but I actually kind of liked the jump unit just because it, it made the jumps and hovers so much further. I mean, in I almost died there. <laughs> that was a very close death, and then another one coming up. But obviously, don't waste your resources on upgrading and using a hover. There are many better options. The Raven's a better option. But right before we end the video, thanks for watching the video, guys. And now look at this. I was trying to make it. We were running out of rocket fuel. And then we missed it. And we died before we hit the, the water. But thanks for watching the video, guys. Until next time, peace. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.